Hi, Dashers. Are those Vaughn's, Michael's, and other stores' trips worth it? Do you get tipped? Hello, everyone. My name is Russ, and welcome to the Russ Ride channel. On this channel, I'll give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings for delivery companies and before on rideshare companies. So, what's up with this? The last week doing DoorDash, I had several dashes to Vaughn's and Michael's, and I noticed that I wasn't getting tipped. So what's up with that? So I'm going to take any Vaughn's orders that come up that meet my criteria, and any Michael's, and if there are other stores out there where pretty much you're not delivering fast food, you're going in the store and they've prepackaged the grocery orders or the orders of crafts and supplies, and you're taking them to the customer's house. My cutoff is $7. That way I can make roughly $21 an hour. Anything below that, it's not worth my time. So I was getting excited when I got a Vons order and I would see $9, $10, and I would take it. Well, afterwards I was realizing that the customers weren't tipping me and I was getting paid for my mileage. So let's get started and see what happens. The one thing with the DoorDash grocery store orders, you're getting paid for your mileage. Um, if the customer tips, then it's going to be much higher than that. For example, any deliveries from a liquor store, generally people tip you very high because they think of you as like the bartender. So you're bringing them alcohol and they're going to tip you either a percentage based or a high dollar value because liquor is expensive. Uh, same thing with food deliveries. They're relatively short distances, and if they're tipping you, you can do many. But I have found doing the grocery store orders, like the one, it took me almost an hour to do for ten twenty-five, and the customer didn't even tip me. So I'm losing money doing that one. Well, we'll see if we get some Vons orders. I am parked at Vons now. Normally I would not do this. I would stay around the restaurants because I want to earn money. But in the spirit of YouTube, I want to test this out and see if the customers will tip. While we're waiting here at Vons, I'll bring up a screenshot of the previous orders from Vons as well as Michaels. And in there you'll notice that there is no tip and that based on the mileage, that's what I was getting paid for. So it was a total of four orders. Two were Vons and two were Michaels. And again, the one from Michaels, I did get tipped in cash. I took two orders from Vons. They were both 375 with uh, obviously no tip. And I did meet another young lady in there and asked her, she had taken two orders, um, one to a faraway city for $10 with no tip, and then from here she took it to a city north. Again, the, the customer gave her $4 tip. So these orders for Vons are coming in with no tip, and I would estimate that the customers are not tipping, and you could speculate as to why, either because the grocery deliveries are already expensive for them, adding on the cost of the DoorDash delivery, or they're unaware that they should be tipping their driver. I don't know. But for now, I am not going to take any more orders from Vons. I will give a caveat there. The flower orders are generally okay as long as people tip. Um, but I have had a couple flower orders where they didn't tip. So I'm going to get back on the road after I call DoorDash and try to see what issue is going on. Um, the second issue is that the last two orders were for orders from yesterday, and the worker at Vons um, wasn't sure why, and I asked her to call DoorDash. I'm going to do the same. I'll do that now. All right, forget it. It's too hard to even try to contact DoorDash. I'll have to do it later because I'm losing money by not delivering, so that's a shame. All right, up next, I got a Michael's order. Let's hope that they tip. It's a total of $8.25, and it looks like the total is $40, $45 worth of product. 
So let's do this. I'll bet that most of it is based on mileage and then we'll see if the customer tips us. All right, let's get started. Well, welcome back. I just picked up the bag from Michael's and it's a few items. I did ask the gentleman inside who's been doing the orders about tipping. He said he's not aware. It's only been about two weeks. So on their website, it shows that Michael's will deliver. So maybe the customers assume they're delivering for free. Therefore, there's no need to tip. So it's probably because these kind of deliveries are new and people aren't used to them. But that still is no excuse for DoorDash. Um, if the customer's not gonna tip, then like for this order, it's $8. I'm making enough to cover my mileage, but not my time. So I'll reserve judgment for the end of the day, but pretty much I think I'm not gonna do these orders. All right, take care and I'll check back with you in a little bit. Bye. Welcome back. I think I may have figured it out. I'm gonna get online and using the computer go to the websites for Michaels and for Vaughn's. What I think is probably they're offering free delivery and the customer has no idea that DoorDash is actually fulfilling those deliveries. Therefore, when that customer asked me in the last uh, screenshot there about how do they do the rating, that probably means they, have no, they don't even have the app so that's probably why they're not thinking of tipping and definitely if they can't tip in the app or they can't tip on that website we're driving their packages for mileage and unless they give you a cash tip we're probably out of luck again this is two weeks that they've been doing these kind of deliveries from michael's so we'll see if things improve but for now i am not inclined to be doing any orders like this unless they actually were for high dollar values so I'll stick with food deliveries and the minimum of $7 per tip with the tip. See, here's a $8.25. I'll accept that from Chipotle. That's a good one. All right, let's go. $8.25 on that order. That's what I'm talking about. I can do a couple of those really quick. Overall, today I was very pleased. I did get to talk to a young lady at Vaughn's who does DoorDash and she shared that she does not get tips as well from those grocery store orders. And unfortunately having the issue with DoorDash, um, trying, to have us, trying to have me pick up orders that have been already delivered a day ago is not good, so I'll follow up with that. And then I got the Michaels order and from talking to the gentleman there, um, as I've already shared, this is something new and the customer's probably just signing up on the website for a free delivery, meaning free, don't tip. So in light of that, for now, I do not recommend doing any Vaughn's orders or the Michael's orders. And I have no idea if there's other stores out there other than uh, restaurants that use DoorDash for deliveries. So until the customers start tipping, I would stay away from that. You're not getting ripped off. You are being paid for your mileage, but not your time. So do it as a last resort. I do also recognize that the flower deliveries from Bonds may be okay. I've had uh, hit and miss being tipped on that. Um, the last two, I happen to not get tipped. So I know at the holidays, um, like Mother's Day, well, not Father's Day, but Mother's Day, uh, people do tip very well for that, for flowers deliveries. Do give feedback in the comments below. Do you find this content useful? Stay safe out there. Um, you know, I know every major city is having issues with looting. Hopefully that'll stop. And as well as the coronavirus. So people should be tipping pretty well during these times in light of these events. And until I see you in my next video, have a good day and take care. All right, bye.